Dad, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, it's my favorite kid. Listen, <laughs> I found out what they were doing at the women's clinic. They were looking for a candidate to put a... Damn. Damn, you notice that? Oh, it's my favorite kid. Totally sidesteps Stan in order to talk to us. <laughs> that is so fucked up. Alright, everyone. Welcome to another episode of South Park to Stick of Truth. We got a sweet katana now. That's literally what it's called. And now we must fight Man Bear Pig. Uh, Sorry, I can only help you once per day. It's not like I can be everywhere at once. I was supposed to stop Man Bear Pig? Oh my gosh. You're a Man Bear Pig. Oh god, here we go again. Man Bear Pig. <laughs> Come on, we've got this. Ready? Come on. Come on, come on. Kick the baby! Yep, just gotta kick the baby. Kick the goddamn baby. Yay! Oh, Al Gore, you finally expert. beat me! <laughs> Man, we kicked his ass. Dude, you okay? Ah, yeah, that was an easy fight. I mean, he did a lot of damage to Kyle, but... <laughs> Yeah, he was pretty much wrecked, though. Everyone, listen up! The girls have agreed to fight by our side! Attack! The pirates and the Federation factions are standing by to fight as well, my lord! Then the time for talk is over! Let us all make haste to Clyde's house! Is this the final battle? Today, we are not elves and humans. Today, we fight as one. What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come. Yeah! <laughs> on YouTube. the army of darkness with the courage of dragons. Let us delve their dungeon with swords and sorcery. Let us charge our shields and use photon torpedoes to vaporize the Klingons. <laughs> Nerd. Kevin, god damn it. Every <laughs> fucking time, Kevin. God fucking damn it, seriously. I'm sorry. Armies of justice! Prepare! Ready! And let's beat up Clad! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> what are they gonna do? The parents? They're gonna wreck like shit! Ow! I'm hit! They they tore my costume! I worked really hard on it! You sons of bitches are gonna get what's coming to you! Foolish mortal! <laughs> no one can take the dark tower. I think this is it. Clyde has conquered death itself. <laughs> dark Lord has granted us Come on. Life. There we go. Check your pants. 
pants. <laughs> Dude, you stink. Son of a... <laughs> I have you all grossed out now. Oh, God, here we go again. Uh, well. I destroy you guys. Oh, you think you're hot? We are the Dark Lord's <laughs> mighty side of fuck. Dude, you stink. Nice job, douchebag. See you at the top. Let us restore the balance of nature by kicking ass. Yeah, what was that about you guys being his mighty cyclops? Oh. Can we get going now, please? Yeah, fuck you, cyclops. Wait, they have Nazi zombies? Shit is everywhere. Clive's turning the whole town Nazi. <laughs> We've got your back, pirates. Help the commander. Here's the plan. Attack each tower and raise the gate so we can get into Clyde's lair. Maplebeard, clear the path. Yay! Uh-oh. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> the fuck? Oof. Dude, you oh, okay? No. Ow. Oof. That is some sick magic you got there. Ah, oh, no. poor Clyde. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Night helmet. You better check your pants. Impressive. Oh, they're dead. Dude, you stink. Oh, whoops. Uh oh. Aha, you're trapped. I'm a level 14 thief and the Dark Lord's chief assassin, and you will all perish here and now. And I'm a level 15 Jew. My three Nazi cow minions will take care of you. Wow. <laughs> oh, whoops. Sweet. <laughs> I should have started Impressive. sooner. This should even things up. Douchebag! You hold on, don't up there. Hey, no fair, guys. I can't let this thing go. Just hold on till I'm done. You're gonna get it, Craig, you fucking traitor. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you guys are Now let's see how you fare against the Dark Lord's chief assassin and a cow. 
<laughs> and the cow. I'll do everything I can. Why fight one Craig when you could fight five? Uh oh. I'm immune to splash damage, Clyde said. You're so done, Craig. Come on. No quarter. Craig's tough. Why fight one Craig when you could fight five? <laughs> There's an Asian Craig. Jeez, he's tough. I think that's the first time I ever gone down. Quit it, quit it, quit it. Jeez, though, but Craig's strong. I'm guessing that's the real one. Uh. You got yours, Craig. Here, climb on. Dad, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, it's my favorite kid. Listen, <laughs> I found out what they were doing at the women's clinic. They were looking for a candidate to put a... Damn. Damn, you notice that? Oh, it's my favorite kid. Totally sidesteps Stan in order to talk to us. <laughs> that is so fucked up. They're gonna nuke all of South Park. A snook? You boys don't understand. They've put the snook here. Who did? Whoever these people are claiming to be Taco Bell. We should have known. We should have known Taco Bell is far too compassionate and caring to be so secretive. The quality of their character, like the quality of their food, should have never come into question. Dad, where is the woman with the snook? They didn't put it in a woman. Well, all I remember Mr. Was that Slave. They were these big government guys, and they wrestled me to the floor at my house. And then I remember thinking, well, this is fun, but wait, is that a thermonuclear device? I had some drinks, so putting a thermonuclear device up my ass wasn't completely out of the question. Oh, Jesus Christ, how long do I have? We don't know, Mr. Slave, but it could be a matter of minutes. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out! Oh, uh, no. No! We can't just pull it out! Snoops have triggers on them! We have to abort it! From inside! Oh, come on, who knows how to do abortions and can get really, really small? Uh... Hmm, who? Who could possibly be able to make themselves tiny and know something about abortions? Uh, hmm, let's see. Who could there be? Hmm. Oh, who could there be? I don't think. <laughs> There's got to be Fine. someone. Ah! 
It seems oh, like it'd be easy oh, to find oh, someone who could get small or could perform abortions, but both? Ah, uh, fine. Oh, look! He's all small! Wow, this kid is just full of surprises. Quick, get up there and disarm the snook. Hurry! Oh, be careful. I might have also put some bats up there the other night. Bats? Why? Ah, sick, dude. Can't you pick somebody else to be your buddy? I never thought I'd say this, but are you sure you don't want to take Cartman instead? <laughs> sure. Dude, lame. How come I have to be your buddy right now? <laughs> Oh man, it stinks like shit in here. <laughs> oh, man. It stinks like shit in here. Dude, are we really gonna go up Slave's asshole? <laughs> I can't believe we're inside a real live butthole. <laughs> I'll pick Cartman. <laughs> Is this it? No cat. You must find a way out of this. <laughs> Why couldn't you pick Cartman to be your buddy? <laughs> the way behind you is blocked by the large sphincter. Make haste to the large intestine. All will be made clear to you then. Hey, what's that sticky stuff? I'm gonna barf. Armed? Is that it? I am the Sparrow Prince. Hi there. Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. <laughs> now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. I know I don't really sound that angry, but trust me, I am. <laughs> I would be too. Don't be starting shit with us. Ah! Out. My anger is greater now. Kill. Hey. Oh wait, uh, way of the sword. He's almost dead. Come on. Craig was way worse. harder, though. You have proven yourself in combat, young anal plaything. You may journey forth. <laughs> Find the snook's trigger and save the outside world. Fare thee met and fare thee well. Hey, is that Carmen's mom's? We can't get by. There's too much shit here. <laughs> Hello, new kid. I am Katata Fish. Katata Fish. Okay. The trigger of the thermonuclear device lies before you. I have tried to solve its riddle, but I have been unable to disarm it. There are only moments to spare. Find a way to disengage the trigger. Or all will be lost. Disarm the snook. Oh. Yeah, maybe someone else could help you with that. Your where is the command? My I won't lie. I was hoping to arm it. Snook abortion sequence initiated. Begin electrolytic infusion. Ow. Jesus. Air. Check placement. <laughs> We're all dead now.
<laughs> Is that my oil? <laughs> What is it, Mr. Slave? What are you feeling? Oh, Jesus! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Great job, new kid. But your journey is not yet complete. Yes, but should we ever need your services again, we will call. <laughs> Great job! You've disarmed the snook! South Park is saved! Yes, and now let's finish this, new kid. Let's beat Clyde once and for all and take back the stick of truth! Oh, what's this? Crown of... Okay. <laughs> oh, if you ever want to go back in, just ask. It'll all be totally worth it, it when very you get the stick back. What you did in that man's butthole? <laughs> You're a better man than I, new kid. Wrong way, dude. Clyde's over here. You're a better man than I, new kid. You're a better man than I am. You're a better man than I am. You're a better man than I am. Just ask. Oh. Clyde. Fools. You thought you could conquer the Fortress of Darkness. Clyde, back away from that stuff. Oh, but I have yet to complete my army. You have come to witness the power of darkness. Stop. Clyde, you have no idea what that stuff is! Yeah, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at the Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde! It's toxic goo from another galaxy! Think about it! Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, since about a year ago. What? Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way! They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss it? Ha! <laughs> I don't think this is a good time. Now, do I? That doesn't mean you have Taco Bell green sauce, dip fuck. Yeah, Clyde, why do you think that shit's glowing? Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. Just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll beat me up? Ha <laughs> ha! I've got another surprise for you. Uh, where's that going? Chef? I'm gonna make love to you, woman. Ah! <laughs> Get him Not Chef. Let's all make sweet love. Hell. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Uh, can he bleed? Uh, more info. I mean, to stun, sleep. Okay, so. Come on, we've got this. I mean to sleep and stun just cuz. Wow, thanks developers. Ready? Aim. Fire. Got it. Damn it. God damn. Come on, hopefully we can kill him before. Come on, come on! Children, what have I done? He's fighting it! Chef, this isn't you! No, no! Oh, he doesn't go down. Children, everybody, I'm back. Enough of this. Oh, he's back. No. Burn them. Burn them all. Oh, he's really gone then. Who said 
eons of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Uh, okay, um, you know what? I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that, I banish thee. I banish thee from space and time! Damn. Did it, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. He got you what was it. coming to him. Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag. Congratulations. King Douchebag. Quickly, now let's get the stick back to safety before anyone can do. We've got him. We've got the Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What the? Who? What? So, it really is the dragon one. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has the stick of truth. How does this guy know you, King Douchebag? King Douchebag? Is that <laughs> what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovakin? What the hell? <laughs> you don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the fighters of Zaron. Give it back. Fighters of Zaron? Boys. What's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency I can't was skip. <laughs> created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, <laughs> vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is, until four years ago when we investigated a child. Yawn, yawn, yawn. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No! His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea Damn. the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh... You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? It's a stick. Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> oh, no, he bought it. I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! <laughs> I can do anything! Anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control the universe! What the hell? Ah, uh -huh, uh, uh, damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin. Why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all. Just get me safely out of here. You can rule with this once again. You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes. And that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Aww. Dude, where are you going? Damn. <laughs> <gasps> Princess Kenny. At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kenny? Because Princess Kenny was born a half orc, whose entire village Morgan was Freeman? Out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see. When humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. 
And that is why she waited and plodded all this time to take the stick from you. For Princess Kinney is true heir to the stick of truth. Wow, that's pretty cool. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. The crown of thorns. Ooh. Melee attacking enemies take up to 100 damage. Modify. Okay, what can I do here? I want to keep the I want to keep this on. All right. Oh. Well, can I interest you in some? I haven't really had Kenny as a companion. A more likely weapon for a slaying Goliath. <laughs> really? Oh god, it burns. The final battle. Come on. Give us a stick, Princess Kenny. You don't want to go down like this, Beth. What the heck? <laughs> Kenny gets his own anime intro. Man, we kicked his ass. It's all over, Princess Kenny. Douchebag is too powerful for you. What's she doing? Oh, no. no Kenny, don't drink that. Ah, Nazi zombie, Princess Kenny. Fuck. <laughs> oh, we're so screwed. <laughs> Nazi zombie Princess Kenny. This is it, King Douchebag. The final battle. Your buddies stand with you. I would just stand over here. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kenny. Oh. I need to take down his armor. Okay, Kick rain of arrows. Do it. Ready? Aim. Fire. 
für eure Schule. Ein stolzer Freude. Hit them with the zombie vomit. She took me down. Oh. Stolzer Ergebenheit. Come on, we've got this. Kick the baby. Don't kick the goddamn baby. He's almost down. Oh my god! You killed Kenny! Yeah, I'll bet! Oh, <laughs> I killed Kenny. Ah, oh, he's back. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kenny! Give these vermin a taste of their own medicine, Princess Kinney! Uh oh. No! Where are you going with Princess Kinney's rat? Damn you! Come on, you can't That was a close one. Ooh, I better catch, catch my breath. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kinney! That wasn't so bad. I think all the dying is making her tired. Keep killing her. <laughs> Hit them with the zombie vomit. <laughs> Butters. Poor Butters. Come on, let's take away that armor. Even more. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kinney. I rubber your glue. There we go. Professor Chaos. Let's see how you like dealing with me. Life drain? Oh, that was useful. Comes for you, Dragonborn. You'd better pray for a miracle. Uh oh. <laughs> Foolish Princess Kenny. Do you not know that death is a servant of chaos? Oh, thanks, How Butters. Fresh meat for my trusty wolf Don't companion. Well, that chaos energy is making me a little woozy. Go get him, boy. <laughs> Don't you know death is merely a servant of chaos? She doesn't stay dead. We can't beat her. Two were fucked. There's no way. There is one way. We're going to have to break the gentleman's code. What? Carmen. You can't possibly mean- What other choice do we have, Cal? King Douchebag, you remember long ago, I made you swear an oath to never fart on anyone's buzz. <laughs> I am now asking you to break that oath. He's right, it's our only chance. Fart on Princess Kenny's buzz, King Douchebag! Do it! Now, King Douchebag, fart on Princess Kenny's buzz! What about the gentleman's oath? Hold on, let me eat this burrito first. Dragon shout! Nasty! 
Jeez. What? We're back to normal. We're cured! We're all better now, Daddy. That's right, son. The Dragonborn must have farted on a princess's balls. <laughs> you just know that. The stick savior. You guys sure about this? There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all. Ha, <laughs> we re we replaced Kenny. So what do you guys want to play now? How about dinosaur hunters or pharaohs and mummies? Let's ask douchebag. What do you want to play next, dude? Oh, I can speak now? What am I going to say? Screw you guys. I'm going home. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> you made me climb up a man's butthole. Don't even. <laughs> oh, can I skip? Can I play, is there a after credits or? There we go. Betrayal from within. Come on, kid! We need to fill our underpants quota! <laughs> Sounds like you're in the market for some new underpants! Oh, hell yeah. So, I guess that's... The main quest is over. Can I talk to my parents? Watch out for strangers. Go play with your new friends today. Son, I'll give you $20 if you talk right now. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's at least the end of the main quest. And, well, I think this will be a good time to end this episode. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. <laughs> I uh, yeah, I will record another episode of South Park. I'm sure there's at least a few side quests I might have missed. But if not, I probably won't make another <laughs> episode. But I am pretty sure there's probably a side quest or at least a few that I missed. Alright, everyone. Bye.